Hi everybody, we've been given this question. Given that angle ACB is equal to 20 degrees, of course that is actually present triangle ABC, right? And we are also given angle BAC is equal to 80 degrees. We are expected to find the value of x, find the figure is given, value of x, if dc is equal to ab. So let me draw the figure for your observation. So you got a triangle. Right, so A, B, C. This is the triangle that is given. This point is D, and we are given A, C, B. A, C, B is 20 degrees, so this is 20 degrees, and then B, A, C. This is 80 degrees. Right, this looks like 90 degrees, but apparently it's not 90 degrees, it's 80 degrees. And we are expected to find the value of this x given that AB is actually equal to DC. So these two sides are equal. Right, AB is equal to DC. It's a very important point we will be using in the question or I would say when the solution is started. So now this is 20 and this is the exterior angle, right? Some of the interior angle will be equal to the exterior angle. So if I were to sum this angle and the this angle, because this is an exterior angle, so the sum of the interior angles opposite to the exterior angle will actually give me the exterior angle, right? So what would this be? Just now I just mentioned some of the opposite angles or I would say the opposite interior angles would give us the exterior angle. So if this is x, this is 20, this should be obviously x minus 20. So this is your part to find. They have not given this. So I just as I just mentioned to you, you have to use that particular rule connecting exterior angle and interior angle. Okay, you have got that. So from this, what we are going to do is we are going to apply the sine rule. Solution, okay, solution is starting from here. We will apply the sine rule. This is a very important rule. So what I would do is I will take this side and divide it by the sine of the angle which is present opposite to this side. That's going to be sine 20 which is equal to, then I'll take this side, BC, divided by sine of the angle opposite to this side. So opposite to this side is going to be 80 degrees. So it's going to be sine of 80 degrees, right? So this would mean AB divided by BC is equal to sine 20 divided by sine 80. So we have got that equation. Okay, so now what we will do is we will apply sine rule. So let me just uh, state here, consider triangle ABC, ABC. Over here, consider triangle DBC, DBC. So now I wish to apply sine rule here, right? So that's going to be DC dc divided by the angle opposite is x negative 20 so sine of x negative 20 is equal to bc divided by the angle over here so what is the angle over here now some of the angles in the triangle is 180 degrees so this plus this plus this 
should be equal to 180 degree. So naturally, let me just take that x negative 20 added with 20 positive this whatever that you have got here. So let me just take this as alpha should be equal to 180 degrees, right? So negative 20 positive 20 goes away. I have an x here, but I need to get 180. So what should be this alpha value? Naturally, alpha will be equal to 180 negative x. Just move this x on this side. You get alpha to be equal to 180 negative x. So that is the value of alpha, right? I can safely write that 180 negative x. So if I were to take this triangle, then this is going to be BC divided by sine of 180 negative x. So that's what you've got. But what you've got here, we start as DC is equal to AB, right? Since DC is equal to AB, if I were to take this as 2, therefore I can rewrite 2 to be as AB over sine of x negative 20 is equal to BC over sine of 180 negative x. This would mean AB divided by BC is equal to sine of x negative 20 divided by sine of 180 negative x. So fair enough, you got it like that, right? But also AB over BC is equal to what? AB over BC is equal to sine 20 divided by sine 80, right? So if I were to take this as 3, therefore I can rewrite 3 as what? In place of AB over BC, substitute this value. So this is going to be sine 20 divided by sine 80 is equal to sine of x negative 20 divided by sine of 180 negative x. This is what you've got. So now our objective is to find the value of x. So what I wish to do is I would like to rewrite the value sine 20. Now what is sine 20? Can I write sine 20? I'm using this part of the space. Can I write sine 20 as sine of 2 times of 10? Now what is this? This is nothing but sine 2a, which is nothing but 2 times sine a cos a. So therefore, sine of 2 times of 10 can be written as 2 times sine 10 times cos 10, right? So this is clear. So in place of uh, sine 20, I'm going to write it as 2 times sine 10 times cos 10. Fair enough. But what is sine one uh, sine eighty? Now can I write sine eighty as sine of ninety minus ten? Is it right? Is it okay? Of course we can do that. But what is sine of ninety minus theta? Now sine of ninety minus theta is what? It's nothing but cos theta, right? So this is nothing but cos of ten. So in place of sine eighty, I can write this as cos of ten. This is equal to sine of x negative twenty divided by sine of 180 negative x cos 10 cos 10 gets cancelled giving me 2 times sine 10 is equal to sine of x negative 20 divided by sine of 180 negative x so this is what we have got now we need to again perform some manipulations so what i wish to do is i would like to bring the 2 down and what I will do is I will push sine of 180 minus x up. Now 180 minus x. So let me just also work on 180 minus x. Now let me show this to you. Now sine of a minus b is what? This is equal to sine a cos b negative cos a sine b. Right. So sine of 180 negative x can be rewritten as sine of 180 times cos x negative cos of 180 times sin x. Sin 180 is 0, cos 180 is negative 1, so this is going to give me sin x. So, so that's looking good. So you got sin of x negative 20 divided by sin of x and on this side is going to be 2 times sin of 10 degree. Now we need to again apply some formulas and bring about the result. Okay. Now what I wish to do is I would like to club sine 10 with sine x. Okay, so let me do that. Sine 10 with sine x, right? And I will push this off to the right hand side. So this is going to be 1 over 2 times sine of x negative 20. Now what is half? Half is nothing but sine 30. So sine 30, I can rewrite this as sine 30 times sine of x negative 20. On the left hand side, you've got sine of 10 times sin x. 
Now we need to apply the formula for this for solving. That's exactly what we are going to do. Now we will be using this all important uh, formula. One minute. Okay, I got a new page. So what have we got? We got, I'm using this one. We got this one. This is the last thing we got. So let me write that down. Sine of 10 times sine of x is equal to sine of 30 times sine of x negative 20, right? Now we know a formula. So what do we know? Since we know that, I'm going to write that formula down here. Since we know that, 2 times sine a sine b is equal to cos of a minus b negative cos of a plus b. So we will be using this formula, right? So if I were to apply this formula to this quantity, okay, hence, let me just write that down, hence sine of 30 times sine of x negative 20 is equal to, now this 2 can be brought down, so I'm going to write it as 1 over 2 times cos of, if this is a and this is b, this is going to be cos of 30 negative of x negative 20 minus cos of a positive x negative 20, right? So this is going to be 1 over 2 times negative x negative of negative 20 that's going to be positive so this two can be added giving me cos of 50 negative x negative 30 negative 20 that's going to be 10 so this is going to be cos of 10 positive x so this is what we've got okay now i can rewrite cos is an even function that means cos of negative x i can always write cos of negative x as cos of x, this is an even function, I would be implementing that. So that would mean, if I were to take the negative sign out, this is rewritten as 1 over 2 times cos of 50 negative x, I can rewrite it as x negative 50. Why? Because cos of negative x is equal to cos of x, followed by negative cos of 10 positive x. So this is what I've got. So I'm going to be utilizing, I'm going to be utilizing this formula over here. Right, so this is equal to 1 over 2 times cos of x negative 50 negative cos of 10 positive x. So that's for the right hand side. Now we will have to evaluate the left hand side. So what is on the left hand side? The left hand side has got sine of 10 times sine of x. So again I will be utilizing the same formula. Uh, 2 times sine a sine b is equal to cos of a minus b followed by negative cos of a plus b. So if I were to use that, this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times cos of a minus b. So we got 10 negative x followed by negative cos of 10 positive x. So this is what we've got. So let's take this and substitute it over here on the left hand side. Right. Now, I've got a 10 negative x. So what I wish to do is instead of saying, writing it as 10 negative x, let me write this as 1 over 2 times cos of x negative 10 followed by negative cos of x positive 10. I clearly mentioned to you, it's possible for us to write it like that because of the fact that cos of negative x is equal to cos x. So this is settled. So therefore, if I were to take this as some phi, Therefore, I can rewrite 5 as, I can rewrite it in this following fashion. So, 1 over 2 times cos of x negative 10, negative cos of x positive 10, that's okay, equal to the right hand side, this is going to be 1 over 2 times cos of x negative 50, negative cos of x, I'm writing it as x positive 10. It's possible. Now, x positive 10 and is there anything else we can, we are, are we in a position to cancel anything else? That's the most important thing. So, okay, you can clearly see that if I were to, okay, half, let me cancel this 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So, I've got cos of x negative 10 
negative cos of x positive 10 is equal to cos of x negative 50 negative cos of x positive 10 now these two can be cancelled right so if i were to push this to the other side this is going to be cos of x negative 10 negative cos of x negative 50 is equal to 0 i want to write this as i can rewrite this as cos of x negative 50 negative cos of x negative 10 is equal to 0 so this is nothing but cos a minus cos b formula now since it is cos a minus cos b formula we can always use this we know that cos of a negative cos of b is equal to i'm going to utilize this formula negative 2 times sine of a positive b divided by 2 times sine of a negative b divided by 2 i can utilize this formula so therefore this one in place of a i have got x negative 50 so a is equal to x negative 50 and b is equal to x negative 10 so this is going to be equal to negative 2 times sine of a is x negative 50 added with x negative 10 divided by 2 and followed by sine of x negative 50 negative of x negative 10 divided by 2 this is equal to negative 2 times sine of i can add these two together so this is going to be 2 times of x negative 60 divided by 2 times sine of positive x negative x gets cancelled negative 50 and positive 10 that's going to be negative 40 right negative 40 divided by 2 i can bring this since sine of negative x is equal to negative sine x if i were to bring this is going to be two times sine of i can take a two out so that's going to be two and two will get cancelled giving me x negative 30 times sine of 2 and uh, 40 they can be reduced so that's going to be 20 so this is what i have got right so now the question comes is this is equal to zero right so what i need to do is i will have to i will have to actually put an implied sign here and equal it to zero this is an implied sign and this is equal to zero so this can be rewritten as two times of sine 20 times sine of x negative 30 is equal to 0 but this is not possible 2 times sine 20 equal to 0 cannot be equated to 0 so this would mean sine of x negative 30 is equal to 0 but this can be rewritten as sine of x negative pi divided by 6 is equal to 0 now this as the value pi uh, x negative pi over 6 is equal to n pi so this would mean let me use the space here this would mean x negative pi over 6 is equal to n n pi this would mean x is equal to pi over 6 positive n pi for n element of z but from context of the question so this would mean x is equal to pi over 6 is the only solution that is possible for this question so that is the end of this question Everybody, enjoy your night. Thank you.